Hello everybody, and welcome to Gaming with Mr. Poopy. Today we are taking a look at some Rainbow Six Siege. Um, as always, we are going to be testing this with my RTX 3080 Ti here, paired up with the i7-12700K. Uh, we've got the LG, -er, ugh, if I can talk, we got an LG Ultra Gear 27-inch monitor, 1440p, it's got G-Sync, 165Hz refresh rate, V-Sync is off, frame limit is off. We're going to be testing a couple little settings here. Uh, first, we're going to go all maxed out, and then we're going to see how high we can get this frame rate. Um, there we go. Max it out. Okay. Apply. All right. So everything is completely high, ultra, anti-aceling, 100% render scaling. So we're good to go. Benchmark it. Let's see what happens. And we've got all our info up top here. And we'll see what happens. All right. And we are, wow. I'm actually kind of surprised. Frame rate's a little lower than I expected, but I mean, still good. Um, that was going to be a little higher. I guess that anti aliasing is uh, pretty intensive. Uh, the GPU is running pretty much full throttle. Um, the CPU is barely breaking a sweat. <laughs> um, we're getting the 80s. Looks like we're averaging somewhere in the 80s right now. And uh, got 32 gigs of RAM sitting in there with this. Looks nice. Looks good. Picture's nice and clear, crisp, sharp. Everything is beauteous. My GPU temps are getting into the 70. A little warmer side. I'm thinking about maybe doing a little undervolting on it to let it run a little cooler. But it's alright. Those are still safe temps. A little high, but they're still safe. Um, alright. Alright, so yeah. Averaged 85. Yeah, I'm a little surprised by that. Honestly, I thought even with the maxed out settings, I thought it would be a little higher. I mean... Nothing to complain about. Um, but if we're looking for competitive settings, that's not the way to go. All right, so let's drop this down to uh, two times TAA. Apply. And let's benchmark that. So instead of four times, we're at two. So I'm assuming we're going to be somewhere in the upper hundreds. Yeah, so basically about... Almost, I mean, it looks like almost double of what we were getting before. And most likely, this is probably what I would play at, seeing as my monitor is 165 hertz refresh rate. So this would probably be a safe setting for me. It drops a little under 165, uh, 140s, but uh, a great picture. And the frame rates are looking nice. Still good picture. I mean, all the graphics are still maxed out. It's just the anti-aliasing that we changed. So, uh, it's, uh, it's still, I wouldn't say jagged looking, even on the two times. It still looks nice. Although now we're dropping into the 140s. We want to stay as close to 165 as possible, so. Maybe I wouldn't play at this setting. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, 170s outside. All right. So we averaged 155. That's pretty close to the monitor's refresh rate, I'd say. Um, and if you click on here, it shows you the previous. Yeah, that's quite a difference there. You can see the gray line is where we were at before. All right, so let's go back. Let's, uh, let's see here. Anti-aliasing. FXA. I don't like FXA. Then there's off, and then there's this TAA. Temporal. Introduce some ghosting artifacts. Hmm. I don't know if we want ghosting. Those damn ghosts. Well, whatever. Apply. Let's benchmark it. We'll see what happens. Alright. Oh! Wilbur! Yeah, that 
those are some high refresh rates. I mean, that <laughs> well above 165. Goodness. I mean, it still looks nice. Hmm. Interesting. Quite a difference with those anti-aliasing options, that's for sure. I still don't really see any, like, horrible jackets either. I mean, if I had, like, a fancier 240 hertz monitor, I'd probably play at this setting, because this is, a uh, yeah. Although it says introduces ghosting, we're not really moving around too fast in this benchmark, so... I don't know if we'll be able to see any visible ghosting, but, uh, the picture does look nice. Wow. Crazy. Those are some high frame rates. 250! Well, for any of you folks who are looking for high refresh rate monitors, uh, yeah. You can definitely do it here. Yeah, wow. Man, that's quite a jump from 160. I mean, it basically went up another 100 frames per second. That is crazy. Just from that... Hmm. Just from changing those anti-aliasing options, that's, uh, that's impressive. All right, well, let's put it to, uh, <laughs> all right, let's go down to, just for the hell of it. <laughs> let's put it on the lowest settings. We're going to call this the super competitive settings. We'll keep the render scaling at 100. We'll keep this on the TAA. Apply. Yeah, we are barely touching our video ram here. Uh, but whatever. This will be fun. Let's do it. This is for all those hardcore esports players. Uh oh. <laughs> 400 frames. Oh my goodness. 500. Wow. And the GP, uh, or, uh, my GPU utilization is a little lower too with these settings. Um, wow, yeah, we're like 400s. My goodness. I know there's a few 360 hertz monitors out there. Um, I believe BenQ Zoe monitors have those. I think Alienware has one too. Um, so realistically, if you had one of those super high refresh rate monitors that are 360 hertz, uh, yeah, you could actually uh, squeak out every ounce of those hertz with uh, this setup like this. That's impressive. Hmm. Wow. That was pretty crazy. <laughs> 424 frames per second. So compared to the last one, yeah, so we were average. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's uh, that's quite the jump. I mean, that's another. Uh, well, depending on. Well, here, I mean, that's like a 200 frame rate difference. Um, I mean, yeah, that's uh, that's at least another 100 frames. 200 my gosh that is quite the jump hmm wow all right <laughs> well there you go that uh that is uh that's interesting I, those are some those are some uh shocking results i didn't think it would get that high and uh and honestly on the max setting i was kind of surprised at how intensive it was on ultra but I would probably play on Ultra with the uh, this at 100. I don't know if I would go to this with that with that uh, anti-aliasing. Uh, the frame rate's really high. I don't know. I'd probably either play on that or the two times. Either one is good. Um, but yeah, so. If you need a graphics card for those super high frame rates, uh, yeah, have at it. It'll definitely get you there. So there you go.
Hope you enjoyed the video. If so, give it a like. And if you're enjoying my content, please subscribe and have yourselves a wonderful day. Bye-bye.